sheer scope of of the pianism mm. that makes it um, appreciable from my point of view as an artist to to have something that goes from the simplest in a single note uh, kind of music to the most virtuosic um, finger bending, <laughs> mind bending uh, music. Um, and having that challenge sustained for such a long period of time. Um, but then overall, the kind of contours of, of, of the drama, uh, the fact that there's light and shade, um, and the intensity kind of coming and going. something slightly anachronistic about writing a piece this size or playing a piece this size at this point in time where we've got Twitter and you know people are doing everything in 140 characters or less. But isn't it, might be anachronistic, but isn't it uh, all the more uh, dramatic for that because it's the kind of piece that demands that you stay in the moment and you allow the time to progress as time progresses, rather than uh, trying to make everything into bite-sized chunks. Although there is that factor, as you get with any great cycle, that the time seems to pass more slowly. <laughs> um, so, in that respect, it is an unusual piece. There's the temptation, you know, the, the station. I mean, I didn't d deliberately did not title any of the stations. They're just numbered one to four, team. But I mean, for instance, the particular station, which relates to Jesus being nailed to the cross, has what you might call hammer blows in it, and it's not. It's something because at the same time as wanting to follow the emotional outline of the original architecture, you can't help but be attracted to certain imagery there. Mm. And so I, in a way, I want to have my cake and eat it by saying, well, it's just an abstraction, and yet there are definite references. I mean, the mm. Veronica washing the face of Jesus, uh, there's a tenderness about that mm. movement emotionally, and therefore it's not pictorial in any way but you know that emotional content and I notice also with the with the Jesus falling uh, movements you know there's there's that downward motion yes um, that was very deliberate yeah yeah I mean I have to find I, I felt I had to find a, a handle on each separate movement and, and the drama yes yeah. and so and, and sometimes making something dramatic out of something that wasn't necessarily originally dramatic mm. or vice versa mm. you know but I felt that there, there had to be some correlation between the piano music and the original mm. architecture of the devotion. Because uh, if you had abstracted it totally, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't you, you know, you've got to stay close to the... Exactly, like, like Barnett Newman's great series of, of uh, watercolours, I think they are, his yeah. own stations there, completely yeah. abstract. Yeah. Art, you know? yeah. Whereas I felt that there's, a, there's an emotional link between these and the, uh, and the religious devotion. 